I got some good news and I got some bad news. The good news, I am the bad news. And uh, today we're gonna look at a recap video I did from the 48 hour film project that I participated in in 2018. A little background, the 48 hour film project, you have 48 hours from the time you receive the necessary criteria to the time you have to turn in a finished movie basically. I was a crew member and I ended up basically just shooting the behind the scenes footage and documenting the whole thing. I kind of went in there without really much intentions. I actually brought my camera just in case I would be able to get some some footage of my own and it kind of shows in the final product because I didn't really have anywhere for the video to like start and like go it ended up just kind of being different shots from behind the scenes which I guess maybe is like a thing but I felt like without giving it some context it uh kind of missed out a little bit so what I'm gonna do I'm gonna watch it with you and kind of give you like the director's commentary anyway let's go ahead and let's go ahead and check it out and go I got some good news and I got some bad news the good news I am the bad news 48 hours to make a film and um yeah that's pretty much all the details I know at this point assignment from so my boy Fabian he wanted us all to meet so at his house artifacts, super early in the morning the door, so that we could then as a group go meet up morning. at the director's How house Hello. get it script day one we see people in the Mexican border in front of us is a small town crossing and there aren't many people going to Mexico today you do draw your eraser well yeah That's brand new back. slate just for this slate. this is just yeah. like all the actors and the crew like meeting for the first time hello it was gonna all depend on the genre you know and and the character for the most part like everybody met that day so the prop is the box so that works the inspector was staring at you Right, so it's about 9 a.m. doing this 48 hour film project. They're over there getting some establishing shots by the border. We're going over here to get this drone shot and like it was so crazy that they got this shot because they're really tight with security at the border, obviously because it's the border. But um, Fernando was able to fly the drone pretty much like right up to the line. The fact that he actually pulled it off and like was able to get it done without without incident was so miraculous. So what, what, what I want you to do is get behind the bus, the bus I was thinking that. and stop I was right there. That. Yeah. And people can go around you. Yeah, yeah. Just put your emergency lights yeah. and then we'll try it again until we get it. Okay. Have them hold, have them hold right there. Yeah, I got it. You got it? Shit, man. Right too, yeah, we're done. We're just gonna have to go with that one shot. You can actually see the cop getting out of the car right here. And uh, he was getting out of his car to talk to us. So right now we're having trouble because we need to kind of block traffic a little bit. Just a, just a smallest little bit, but there's a lot of police around here because we're right by the border. We're watching him fly the drone and we're like watching out for border patrol at the same time. This shot was crazy. I can't believe he got this, like with the cops right there. Super sketchy, but like none of the cops gave us any problems the whole day. Which is really so, nice. I'm gonna set it up for you. I, I don't think I would have been risking my drone. This, this, this wouldn't happen. Where, It'll follow. I'm not touching anything. And then I'm gonna actually get them up close to the okay. We'll run the dialogue twice. They were actually doing um, a scene that takes place in the car. I, I was in the other car, Jack, so I didn't, Jack, I didn't get any, any footage of that. I can read the audio. If this is good and I don't have to go in and sync stuff, then I'm gonna use this because it's right. faster. It's a time thing, man. Yeah. Okay. So let's run it. Okay, we're at the second location, getting the next shot. Black Infinity, black guy. She isn't going into the store. That's outside my comfort zone. All right, we're Ooh. good, we're good, we're good. We're watching the glass. There was a lot of coverage for this. They shot from a bunch of different angles. What I kind of did is I tried to like run through that scene. I showed everything in chronological order, but instead of showing one behind the scenes angle, I showed a bunch of different angles that the actual movie was uh, shot in to try to illustrate that like we ran through that one a bunch of times. They didn't have coke. Is Gatorade okay? Yeah. What's this? What's what? My boy Fabian working the boom. Whatever it is, it's not as important as us making home on time.
still on the uh, 48 hour film challenge. It's a lunch break, much needed. Then we're gonna get right back to it, get some establishing shots and finish out this, this location and move on to the next one. Should be fun. And then they spot the guy. Cause he went to the cart, you understand? I didn't explain it right. I'm thinking like... This is like just a random spot that we stopped and ended up like utilizing it for the movie. Yeah, this character. Okay. So random, like. And this scene, the main character is me, this guy in the red, who introduces oh, himself way, as Fernando is, Huerta. Um, Chris, Chris, and then you're Fernando Huerta. Fernando Huerta. I'm a lifeguard. So you had to have a lifeguard named Fernando Huerta. It. So you had to make sure that scene was in there. Can I help you with anything? You're trying to get in my car. I apologize, boy. <laughs> oh, <God. laughs> I I yeah, yeah, I'm like, okay. Uh, you got oh, yeah. Southern drawl there. Well, you know, anyway, you don't know that yet. <laughs> so what's going on? Yeah. All right, we're good. All right, we're on the road again. Rockstars, first take, right? Try to. But do you see what I mean? So they're both gonna go. They run towards a trail. Yeah, that's it. Yeah, yeah. yeah no one will be done by it. You guys doing that filming thing too? Yeah. So what's the road? Okay. Alright, you guys have a good day. Thank you. Yeah, thank you. Cool. Thank you. Gonna roll slowly to you. Mm -hmm. Fernando was doing a good job of directing that day. Like, he had a, he had a pretty specific door, vision that he was trying to make come to life, and like that was one. that was very cut. obvious and by the way he was cut. directing. You guys are already, already running. Yeah, yeah. You guys are already up there running. Okay. Okay. okay? Like well, when they start running, like what? Like, as mm -hmm. soon as he walks out of the car, I'm gonna get a close up. He's he's got the gun, like this, and as soon as he does that. We cut. Yeah, yeah. So I know if you go to it and I see that it's kind of sketchy, it's, yeah, I won't do it. But it's scary. <laughs> but I could do it. I'm like, it's real scary. <laughs> but yeah, we'll, we'll get close enough, and I'll make sure that it looks dramatic as yeah, yeah, yeah. as the drone goes over you guys. Rolling. Going handheld Action. for the extra drama. Fuck! Come on, baby, gotta go. Cut. We were actually pretty worried about shooting that shot just because like it's a prop gun but because it's a prop gun it looks real so i got no battery left we're gonna go shoot the last scene and of course my battery died because i only had two and i ran through both of them and to add insult to injury i left my gopro in the car so that was a pretty rookie move on my part but you know whatever it happens what are you gonna do lesson learned so that was the 48 hour film project they still got some editing to do Unfortunately, my battery died before I got a chance to shoot the rest of the behind-the-scenes footage, but I should still have some, some decent stuff to work with. A nice little 13-hour day. I really would like to see it on the big screen. Yeah. I think everybody should definitely check out. The final result, thrown together in 48 hours. It's interesting. It's interesting to see other projects. Anyway, yeah, that was a, that was a 48-hour film project. It's actually a lot of fun. Like I didn't really participate in like the movie movie part. Like I was just kind of there watching it. But like it was really fun. Like it was cool. Like seeing how how everything came together and like a lot of stuff I like to work on is like tutorials and like kind of more documentary type stuff. So it was cool seeing some like fiction. You know, some like narrative work. But yeah, that was uh finally knocking this out a year later, a year and some change later, like closer to two to be honest. But anyway, uh yeah, always hear the bad news first. Skirt. I did! That inspector- Fernando Huerta. I apologize, boy! Come on, baby, gotta go!